All right, guys, welcome to your second Canvas tutorial. And in this video, I actually want to draw some text or something very simple on the canvas. And by the way, before I go on, I want to mention that if you hear any weird noises in the background, that's my dumb dog. He likes to make a bunch of noises whenever I'm making videos. And I just got him a new toy, a beaver today. And it's a stuffed beaver and it has like these squeaky things in its paws. So anytime I'm talking, he decides that it's a good idea to bite his beaver. And <laughs> That that kind of sounds weird, but his beaver, but he, you know, thinks it's a good idea to make his beaver squeak, and they really mess up my videos. But anyways, I'm just going to try to fight through it. So let's go ahead and get started. In the last video, what we did is we basically made a blank canvas on the web page. Now, remember that all of the cool stuff actually happens in the JavaScript file. All of the cool drawings and the animations and the interactivity. So how do we link the HTML file with the JavaScript file? was well, actually really easy. The only thing we need to do is make a script tag, of course, ending script tag, and as an attribute, just go ahead and put source file in whatever name of your JavaScript file. So mine was named Bucky.js for JavaScript. Go ahead and save this, and now this is essentially a link to your JavaScript file. So anything that we write in here is essentially included in this file. So let's go ahead and now that we connected the two files essentially, let's go ahead and hop over to the JavaScript file. So like I said, in the JavaScript file, what I want to do is I basically just want to draw something simple on the canvas just as a demonstration. Now in order to do this, our JavaScript file needs to know that we want to work with the canvas. So how do we do that? Well the easiest way is just to store it in a variable. So var I'll just go ahead and name it canvas equal and now we come across the problem alright we're working with JavaScript so how does JavaScript reference HTML elements well it actually has a built-in function document dot and the document to Java is basically the web page itself so the documents get element by ID because usually on your web page you have a whole a bunch of elements. Do you guys hear that freaking old Dan squeaking his dumb beaver? You know what? I'm gonna pause the video. I'm not gonna take that away because it's really annoying me. One second. Alright guys, I took away his beaver and I gave him a bone instead. Hopefully that's a little quieter. So basically where was I? Alright. Whenever you're in JavaScript and you want to work with a specific element in your HTML file, what you can do is you can reference it by its ID. And this just, you know, helps JavaScript determine are you working with this, or are you working with the body, or are you working with the head? Well actually, we want to work with the ID and the ID of the canvas, which was it? Canvas. Let me just go ahead and copy this and paste that right in there. Now whenever we use the canvas variable in JavaScript, it knows that we're working with the canvas element in our HTML file. Now after this, I actually want to do the exact same thing, but I want to make a variable called context, and I'll talk about this in a little s in one second, because canvas is easier if I type it and then explain it. Get context, and I'll just set this equal to 2D. Alright, now let me go ahead and explain what the heck a context is. Think of a context like your it's kind of like a really advanced awesome paintbrush. It can draw a bunch of cool things on our canvas. So basically what we want to do is we want to say, okay, this canvas we're gonna be drawing 2D objects on it. And in order to draw on it, because remember a canvas is just like a piece of paper. You can't draw with a piece of paper. You need something to draw on that piece of paper, and that's the context. So basically the context allows you to draw cool things on the canvas. So now the first thing we want to do is we want to actually say change some settings for this context. The first thing is um, the font. So context font because remember for this demonstration what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be drawing some very simple text on the canvas. So the first thing I want to do is set the font and I'm just going to set this to 32 points Arial, 